Hey, what's going on everybody, Nintenkid back with you all. We are on Earthbound and we are in Happy Happy Village right now, but we are leaving it because we are done here for now. So let's go ahead and head back through the caves and get our way or make our way back to Tucson. Because now that we have Paula with us, we can actually do a little more plot progression because pretty much that's the entire reason why we came here because it was kind of our destiny to rescue her. Let's see if I can avoid, oh shit, he cornered me. All right. These guys are a real pain in the ass. I don't know if I actually ever showed them. I'm not 100% sure. I'll show them real quick. Basically what happens... Damn, 84 damage to the teddy bear. Paula needs to level up. I'm gonna have to train her a bit. But as I was gonna say, this thing bursts into flames at the end of the, uh, the battle. And it basically does more damage than you have health. But since your damage counter ticks down, you can actually end the battle before it hits zero. So you're gonna lose on average about... 25 to 30 HP at the end of each of these battles against those trees and we got Paula leveling up. Oh, she's automatically already three now And she learned the power of PSI fire and she's also level four Shit, I'm gonna have to do some battling. Oh, she's level five too. Jesus. Oh my god That's ridiculous. How many levels are you gonna gain in one battle? I'm actually gonna end up battling a lot of these enemies on the way back just because of that purpose We need to actually get Paula caught up here to Ness so, I'll go ahead and edit them out, though, for you guys so you don't have to see them. I'll just show you the level gains. Alright, 260 experience. Nice, and we got a present. Skip sandwich. Alright, Paul, now is level 6. So, we got a little offense gain there. Not not much. Got a good HP gain, though. That's pretty good. And PP. And she learned PSI shield already. Okay. So, Paula's is going to be our main PSI character. She's got the best PSI abilities, or psychic abilities. So, she's going to become really helpful. As I was saying before that battle, she's going to become really helpful... Uh, but not until pretty much she meets the same level as us. So I'm gonna use my uh, PSI here because we got this butterfly. Get my PSI heal alpha up. All right, let's see. Am I going the right way? I think I am. I believe the bridge is down here. Man, there's not a lot of enemies. Thought there'd be more. Huh. All right. Um. Wait, is is that the one that was destroyed earlier? I thought they rebuilt the bridge that was originally destroyed, which why we had to go around the pencil. So I'm wondering if that was it. I'm a little confused as to where I actually am right now. I'm gonna leave this battle in though just because of my talking right there. Just to make sure the commentary doesn't cut out. Hell, we'll probably gain another another level anyway, so I'd be showing the tail end of it anyways. Because in, in the last one we only got like 149, so we should get something here. She needs to increase her speed. Alright, there we go. Cool. We won. Of course we won. What am I saying? Alright, now she's level 7. Offense up by 2. Speed by 1. Guts 1. IQ 1. Luck 1. And HP 2. PP 5. Good. Good. Gotta get that PP and HP up. That's the most important thing. Gotta get it real high. Alright, Ness is now level 21. Uh, HP up by 1. Maximum PP by 1. And Paula got level 8, so her offense went up by 2. Defense by 1. Speed by two, which is good. Guts by one and HP by one. Ah, that's not too good on there. But she got PSI Thunder now. The other thing that happened is she got a cold during that fight, so I actually got to do some PSI healing on her real quick. Get rid of that cold, because she keeps losing four damage per turn. And I think I'm going to actually do PSI life up for her. She, uh, she lost a lot of health on that last battle. Oh my god. I'm just going to do it. Get it over with. Alrighty. Let's see, am I going the right way? I have a feeling that I'm not. I think, no, that's not the right way. Do I go down here? This place has me so confused. Nope, not there either. Okay, we can't go that way. Where the hell do I go? Oh wait, here we go, okay. Yes, this is the bridge that was out originally. Blue, blue, oops, I won't say it again. I fixed the bridge as a sign of apology. I'm just trying to help. Thanks, man. You saved us some time getting back. And we don't have to go super, super far north throughout this area. Although I would like the battles. <laughs> the experience gains would be nice. I'm going to have to do some training off screen again. Or grinding, I guess I should say. Because training is just doesn't seem like a, a an RPG terminology. It sounds like more like Pokemon or something. Alright, mobile sprouts. You losers. I'll just keep this one in. These guys are so easy. Maybe I'll double up. You know, do your PSI magnet, you losers. What are you gonna do? Nothing. These guys are so bad, I should just be one-hit killing them. Damn! Critical Paula, she's dead. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no, she's not dead. She almost okay, she almost died right there. That was pretty mad. Smash hit on her. What a douche. And right, let's use our invincibility frame. Damn it! I'm cutting this one out. What a dick. I should have one-hit killed him. He only gave me 67 experience. Probably just because he had, he got us from behind. That's the only reason why I didn't actually one-hit kill him. Because I was doing it earlier, actually. Oh, get me away from those stupid mushrooms. Ooh. Let's do some PSI healing or life up. Would Ness gain, like, 2 HP? <laughs> he, he went up, like, 20, maybe. All right. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I do not want to fight that stupid mushroom. Oh, great. We have no choice. We're stuck. Oh, thank God. I managed to kill it before it e could even do the attack to give us the stupid uh, mushroom on our head and screw up my controls. All right. Well, my thoughts on happiness have changed. Oh. Wait, are, so these are all the people that used to be there. Okay. Pizza, pizza everywhere. All right. So let's go take Paula home real quick. See what her parents have to say about me rescuing her. Maybe I'll get some reward or something. Hell, she probably gave me a, a, a good reward off screen, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Yahoo, I knew it, you saved Paula. I don't really understand it, but I know that Paula's miraculous power and your great courage will allow you to stand up to any challenge. Paula, if you must take a trip, be sure to bring this along. It's my very own handmade band-aid. Ooh, that rhymes. I know, I'll call it a hand-aid. Oh, okay, Paula got a hand-aid. Did you meet Dad? He's sorry that he su suspected Mr. Everdred of Burglum Park. Actually, is that something that I can equip? No? No? What about arms? No? No. The hell is the point of a band-aid, then? Hand-aid. Help. Hand-aid! A handmade band-aid. Heals your wounded body. Gone after one use. Oh, pfft. It's not as important as I thought it was, or cool as I thought it would be. Oh, Paula. Oh, Dad's here. Ness, thank you so much. You must be the boy who will save the world, like in Paula's dream. Paula, I'm sure you'd be a big help to Ness. It's not every day a father lets his daughter embark on a journey to save the world with a boy. Dad, don't worry about me. Ness and I will be able to take care of ourselves. In three, the next town, we'll meet another friend. If the three of us can combine our powers, no one can beat us. Now wipe your eyes, blow your nose, and smile before we take off. Might as well wipe your ass while you're at it. Goodbye, Paula. Don't worry. I won't cry anymore. Alright. Goodbye, Paula. Yes, we know. Wait, is there anything up in my room that I should take? Maybe. Let's go see. Double check. I'm pretty sure I took something from here earlier. Yeah, I did. Alright, so one of the things I forgot to mention in the last couple episodes is pretty much back when we were in Happy Happy, off screen when I was doing some grinding, I actually put three items into uh, Escargo Express's storage system. And that was the pencil eraser, the broken machine, and then also, what was the other thing? Um, oh, and then like an item that it helps increase your speed. Hello, Ness. Everdred is looking for you. He's got something for you. Sweet. Let's go talk to him. Everdred, my boy. Everdred turned out to be a pretty cool dude, actually. Even though we had to kick his ass. <laughs> but now we're buddies. You beat somebody up and then you become friends with them. That's actually normally how the world seems to work. Let's go talk to him. But he did tell us to come see him once we got Paula back, so it doesn't make sense. I was going to ask you to be my partner, but I know you'll refuse. It's written all over your face. If you accept, I was going to give you some money. Actually, I can't keep the money now, anyway. Let me give this to you. It's $10,000. Use the money in a, any way you like. You cannot refuse my generosity, just accept it. Now I plan on looking for the evil Manny Manny statue. That liar exaggerate unearthed in Onette. I'll see you at another time in another space. Wait a minute, what? He's really going to look for that? Paula got a lot of bills. He's legitimately going to look for... Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. I don't have enough money. I was going to maybe buy that stop sign, but we can get it later. Hmm, I wonder if we could find him at Liar Exaggerate's house then, later on. I've actually never done that to go check and see if you can. Okay, so you guys might remember that the uh, Runaway 5, the band here, was actually... And they had to owe this guy a ton of money, so now that we got the money, maybe we can uh, help pay off their debt. Let's go see if he'll actually accept this wad of bills. Pardon? You want to talk about money? How about later after the show, even if we're talking big bucks? I've got definite rules about how I handle my money matters. Alright, fine. 
that's what you think. <clears throat> Can we get in? Hello, please prevent your ticket. I don't have a ticket. Shoot, we gotta get a ticket. Guess I lost my ticket, so now I can't get in. Ticket counter at the department store was even sold out. Damn it. How the hell are we gonna get in? Ah, well, we did talk to the band, so let's see what they have to say. Hey, you came with Paula. Then you deserve a present, playboy. Here's a backstage pass. You can get into our shows with this. Hell yeah, Paula got the backstage pass. How do they know Paula so well? What the hell are you doing to the bandmates, Paula? You some sort of groupie or something? Is there something I need to know, Paula? All right, save it for the next episode, because we are out of time, guys. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you guys did, leave a comment uh, or like the video. Either one helps me out just as much as the other. I really appreciate both of them. And I will see you guys next time in part 15 of Let's Play Earthbound. Take care, and as always, have a good freaking day.